Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, the Raven, here uh, with a Plants vs. Zombies bonus feature. Um, my my Zen Garden. I wanted to show it off. It's not a hundred percent complete yet, but a lot of people wonder about making money in Plants vs. Zombies. And initially, it's pretty hard to make money. Um, you you can really make a lot of money in survival mode but if you're just starting the game you don't have those modes available or you don't have the plants necessary in order to stay alive in the survival mode long enough to make a substantial amount of money so I basically just want to show making money through the Zen Garden and how how you can do that and I've already purchased all three gardens and um, fill them up with plants and uh, the aqua garden is always in water so you never have to water it every now and then you know the plants will ask for music or they'll ask for bug spray and if you play music they give you a hundred fifty dollars or whatever they ask for they give you a hundred fifty dollars to make them happy and uh, also I have some more baby plants down here they want a uh, fertilizer now the reason I'm starting at the smallest garden first okay well, we just got an adult plant adult plants give you uh, two thousand dollars at least adult aqua plants now, now all plants give you two thousand dollars when you raise them but I'm trying to get all unique plants in my garden so I'm gonna sell the duplicate plants I'll give you ten thousand dollars for that tangle kelp yes okay and also when you make plants happy they have that glow you can see the sparkles coming out of them and they produce coins yeah, that's how you make your money but this garden the aqua garden is so small it's not worth it so anyway um, I'm almost maxed out on my cash I should spend some more money first uh, let's go to the shop we're gonna buy up all the bug spray because we're gonna need it for the main garden. So we're sold out on that. Cause you can see I have ninety nine hundred ninety thousand and twenty dollars. So you know that's about to be maxed out once I make this sale. So let's buy some tree food. Max ourselves out on that, which is twenty five hundred dollars a piece. So I don't recommend uh, messing with the wisdom tree until you have a substantial amount of cash. To raise a wisdom tree to the max level, you'll need, uh, I think, two two point five million dollars. So anyway, I'm back. Got a little bit more wiggle room in my money, so let's go back and let's sell this duplicate plant, which is another ten thousand dollars. All aquatic plants are ten thousand dollars, and all mushrooms are ten thousand dollars. I'll give you ten thousand for that lily pad. Yes. So now we're back to nine seven seven. And he's produced a coin. Alright, I okay, and then here's the wisdom tree, which I have 540 feet. We'll just feed this. And one thing about the wisdom tree, you don't have to wait for it to ask for food. You could just feed it. You know you could just basically cram food down his throat. Um, when I first played this, I used to watch the wisdom tree and um wait for it to say that it was hungry and read little tips it gives out but then I realized you could just keep feeding it no matter what so if you want to grow your wisdom tree quickly uh, I recommend just feed it, feed it, feed it okay now we're gonna, we're gonna save the big garden for later now we have the mushroom garden I've already taken the liberty of watering all the plants because that you know that's kind of a tedious process and I don't want the video just to be taken up with that now all plants will either ask for bug spray or music to make them happy. Music, once you buy the record player, it's free. Um, you can play as much music as you want and you don't have to worry about them asking. You don't have to pay for it. Bug spray, you have to keep buying it. I kind of like the plants who ask for music. I, I, I take care of those first. As you can see, we're racking up some more coinage. Every happy mushroom will give you $150, just like the happy aquatic plants. Now these two want bug spray, so let's make them happy. Now the mushrooms also, when they're happy and they have that glow, they will also produce coins. But as you can see, this mushroom garden is complete. 
but it's only um eight eight plants and eight plants aren't going to produce enough coins to make you any money so the mushroom garden is basically um just raise it to keep it if you get a duplicate mushroom plant raise it to adulthood to sell it that's that will that will get the most profit because you get two thousand dollars when it grows up you get a hundred I think you get a hundred fifty you get fifty dollars every time you raise it to another level and um, plus you get ten thousand for selling it as a since it's a duplicate plant alright now let's go back to crazy day shop so I can make sure I have the maximum amount of bug spray because the money maker is the main garden and let's get some more tree food But and if you really want to make money in the beginning, okay, uh, uh, yes, I would like uh, more tree food. Um, your main garden is your money maker, and I'm going to show you why once I finish this shop. All right, sold out on that. Okay, let's go back to our main garden. I'm trying to get a cattail. I've been playing the pool levels like endlessly trying to get a cattail, but I keep getting duplicate plants to sell. So I don't know. Um, I'll show y'all another video when I have everything 100% complete. So let's go back to my main garden. And you can see once again, I've already taken the liberty of watering all the plants. And I have two baby plants that need to grow up. Let's get them start. Um, okay, he reached adulthood got two thousand there and he's reached a deep adulthood so that's I just made four thousand and I'm gonna make some more off this eight thousand for that three Peter yes and I already have a three Peter so it's a duplicate I sell all duplicate plants I give you eight thousand for that spike weed yes so we just made sixteen thousand in the sale of two adult plants Plus the four thousand we made when they reached adulthood, so we just made twenty thousand dollars. Okay, now we have our uh, garden ready to go. Um, when you first start the game, you're not going to have the variety of plants that I have, so I recommend buying, going to the shop and buying. Uh, let's buy some more of this. Um, I like to have everything sold out. Buying some like marigolds. At first, you might think buying marigolds is a bad investment, but trust me, if you have a garden full of these, it pays off. And as you get more plants, you can sell off the marigolds. So just buy marigolds and fill up your main garden. All right, now we're going to wake up our snail helper. And at first, he's slow. Make sure you feed him chocolate to speed him up and help you collect the coins. And then just start making your plants happy. I always give the music guys their their thing first because it makes me happy that I don't have to pay to use music. And every time you make a regular plant happy, uh, you get fifty dollars. You know, so that's fifty dollars times you know however many plants you have. And plus, they give you uh, ten dollars every time you water them, so that's money also. And we're just gonna keep making sure all of them are happy. And that's why you want to have maxed out bug spray, maxed out uh, stuff. Because you don't want any, because when they start producing coins, you don't want any interruptions. You want to collect as many coins as possible. So let's make them all happy. Alright, now at first you're thinking, no, nah, they're not doing anything. It's only two coins. But if you just wait, all of them will like start, they go through like a phase where they just like throw out coins like crazy. And also, it, you can also feed your plants chocolate, which I might have, I just did that recently off screen. So I'm only I had enough chocolate left to, for my snail friend. And see, now we have, and at first it starts off slow, but it starts to pick up in intensity. We'll let our snail friend uh, collect the coins while it's slow, which maybe a minute or two, um, it'll start picking up intensity. And then you have to help the snail. The snail won't be able to pick them up fast enough. 
So don't like leave the snail running in and walk off. And as you can see, it's starting to pick up. I have to help him. But um, yeah, feed your plants chocolate. I usually feed uh, I use eight bars of chocolate on whatever plant I feel, you know, to give them a, a speed boost, and they'll like throw out coins like left and right. And I usually maybe spend about maybe 10, 20 minutes uh, collecting the coins while they're on their coin tossing rage. And that's how I make my money um, in the beginning. So you can see, um, they're, they're picking up their pace. Um, the snail guy, he's having some time. Like, he can't clear all the coins before they make more. And eventually, they're going to be like coins everywhere, and you have to help him. Now, another thing, the coins will disappear, so don't leave it up to the snail to collect all your money, because he's going to miss some coins. Like, the way the AI works for the snail, he'll leave. He doesn't get the oldest to the newest. He just grabs whatever's in front of him, and so old coins will disappear, and you'll wind up, you know, missing out on that cash but like I said this is um basic this is just a showcasing a bonus video showcasing my Zen garden and showing how to make money from it you know when you first starting off I mean when as you obviously as you advance and you have uh you know you have the better plants you know the, the best plant upgrades and seed slots and stuff you could just go to survival Especially survival endless. Plant a mag a gold shroom and uh, just collect away as you nuke zombie hordes or whatever. But when you first start off, the Zen Garden is the uh, main thing to uh, do. And like I say, fill it up with different plants. Fill it up with marigolds until you get you know the more unique plants. And if you're having a hard time getting your different plants, um, each stage generally gives you different ones, but it's not 100% accurate. Like the root stage, it won't just give you the catapult plants, it might give you, you know, a pea shooter. So it's kind of random, which that's annoying because you want to collect everything. And another thing when you're collecting plants, always make sure you have room for new baby plants. As you can see, I sell duplicates and only keep enough room for unique plants which I'm missing um, I don't have a uh, cattail in my aqua garden and uh, for this one I forgot what plant I'm waiting on I mean I got the plantain and I got the pumpkin shell uh, I forgot what I'm there's a couple I'm missing I can't think of off the top of my head so I'm so busy watching the coins or whatever making sure everything's getting collected and also trying to make sure this video doesn't go on too long. That's why I didn't. Uh, that's why I watered the plants ahead of time. It'd be a 30-minute video watering plants and stuff. And, uh, I forgot. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's a couple plants I want that I'm missing. I I wish they had come out with the water, the winter melon, because I have a watermelon already. Oh, you know what? Looking at it, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing a jalapeno. Cause I just looked at the cherry bomb right here, and I was thinking, wait a minute, I have a squash and a cherry bomb. There's a, you know, the third explosive plant is the jalapeno. So I'm missing a jalapeno. I haven't been able to get my paws on one of those yet. Where's my garden grows? Um, I just keep collecting, keep it uploaded. And one thing I like about the Zen Garden is that you don't have to water it every single day. Watch it all the time, 24 hours a day. It's like, if you go a week without messing with it, so what? Your plants never die, so you don't have to worry about, um... You don't have to worry about, you know, this plant dying and having to collect it again or anything like that. You know, it's not like really frustrating, like, you know, something like Neopets or something where they're always hungry, always need care, always need, you know, like, you know, your attention. You know, you could just basically, you know, you can let it slide for however long you want. Sometimes I don't do anything with the Zen Garden until I get a new, you know, baby plants or, 
you know, baby plants to raise or something like that. And every now and then I'll mess around with the wisdom tree. But I'm kind of stingy. And I've been leaving it up to the snail, and you can see how he's leaving coins everywhere. And I want anything to disappear, so I'm going to help him out. And this is a pretty modest uh, run. And like I say, if I'd have given eight other plants, like, bars of chocolate to eat, I mean, there'd be coins everywhere. So this is a pretty modest uh, coin run, up to 977,000. Which we're about to hit nine, seven, eight. So every time you take care of them, you should make, you can make like ten thousand off, you know, just the coins they they spit out um, easily. It just takes you know a little bit of patience, a little bit of um, time, and also uh, I tried to make each plant like fight against each other or whatever, like. As you notice, some plants face to the uh, right and some plants face to the left. And I tried to put all the plants, you know, face left and right, you know, on their respective sides. But, you know, I don't want it to be lopsided or whatever. I want, like, all the plant areas to be filled. Because on this side, you know, the corn, if you see the kernel pulp, he's facing the wrong way. I, and the marigold and the sunflower are facing the other way. But I don't want to have all on one side or whatever. I guess the pumpkin shell doesn't really face anyway, so I can move. And that's another thing. You always want to have an empty space so you can move uh, plants. Because if you don't have an empty space, you can't move anything. So sell off your duplicate plants. All right, snails seem to have it under control. And also, the the quality of the coins it produces random. Like sometimes you'll get runs where they just pump out gold coins left and right, and sometimes you'll only have to do with uh, you only get silvers all the time. I'm trying to see who else can I manipulate. I guess the squash doesn't really face a certain direction, but he's already on this side. Let's see. All these people are facing me to the left or whatever. I like the star fruit. He's so cute when you play with him on your time, but he's also horrible when you play with him during uh when you're playing uh I Zombie. I hate the star fruit on I Zombie. He always throws like a monkey wrench in your plans. All right, we're about to hit ninety-eight, nine hundred uh, eighty thousand. So, like, one, two more coins. All right, there we go. So that's how you make a quick buck uh, with the um, Zen Garden. They're still pumping out coins. Sometimes I, it depends on like the speed. When they'll always pump out coins until like they want water again, so it's up to you to decide when you had enough of you know when your patience runs out or when you got tired of collecting the coins. So, anyway, I'm back to 98,000, uh, $980,000, so I run out of wiggle room. So, I'll, I'll put it well keep seeing gold coins like you want to leave but then they'll pump out a gold coin and you don't want to pass that up so you'll collect it again but anyway the video is going on 20 minutes long so anyway I appreciate y'all watching I'm your host of Raven stay tuned for more bonus uploads of my plants vs zombies I'm gonna be doing base breaker one uh, runs and also I zombie endless runs and uh, if you played those games, I would enjoy your tips and feedback on those games because, you know, they are strategy and maybe you might know a better strategy than I do. So I appreciate y'all watching and I have to give up on collecting these coins and keep spitting them out. And uh, y'all have a good day.